Hey traders, John Hal here. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the markets had a bit of a pullback and we had a correction. So what's next coming now? So anyway, guys, do not play trade based on what you see in this video. Trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. Past performance doesn't equal future performance and you know that, right? So let's get anyway, let's get straight into it right now and let's get straight into what this market is all about and what's really going on in this market right now. So looking at the Dow Jones, okay, looking at the Dow Jones, what do we see here? Let me bring up this chart here for a minute. Firstly, if we bring up the Dow Jones and we look at this long-term, look at this uh, long-term weekly chart through here, what do we see here, right? We see the market bouncing through here, bouncing through here, and we've just come down to this trend line right now. So we've actually had just a nice little, still at that that support level through there, and we're sort of just holding that level through there on that weekly chart. So on this daily chart, if I bring up, say, a short-term, say, candlestick chart here, give a bit more, you can see how we're still at that level through there. Now, the market is, the market is still, um, I'm uh, getting my phone call here. <laughs> so we can see how this market has had actually had a big, decent pullback through here, right? So big, 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 decent pullback through here. And and just a correction, basically, you know, like the correction happened. So what's next? The market's actually holding here. So I wouldn't be too surprised to see, you know, it, we've got to see whether it does hold. If we do hold, then we still could, we could still get a nice rally out of this. Same for the S&P 500. The S&P 500 has done what? The S&P 500 has actually come back down to a significant low level through here. So low, low, low. This is a low level through here. And so the market's likely to, the, with, with the stock market right now, this pullback, this correction here has been a lot stronger than we've seen in, 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 the, um, in the last, you know, maybe say, possibly the last, ever since, ever since the Trump election happened. You know what I mean? Like we did actually get some solid weeks through here, but nothing like we're getting right now when it comes to how how weak this are how weak this is. So this actually could be starting to form some sort of a topping action right now in the markets. And what I mean by that is that if we can see here this pullback through here, if it keeps following through, and we create a lower low, or either or either we actually hold here, we actually hold here and we start to rally up and get a, and, and the market can cannot sustain, and then we start to roll over like this to give a lower high. And then we break to 2,600. Look out below because 2,100, maybe even 2,000 is likely to be hit on the S&P 500. Not in one day, maybe over a few month period. That's what that's what we're seeing through there. So this selling period here has broken below a lot of what you call Fibonacci levels, 50 to 60 percent level. We're at this level right now, so I'm and we have been selling off quite strongly. So we've done a lot of price in a short period of time. So time needs to catch up. So I am expecting to see very shortly, it might be tomorrow, it might be, you know, another, uh, very, very shortly, but I am expecting a little bit of a, a little bit of a rally, a little bit of a pullback out of these markets. And we'll then see what this weekly chart's gonna show us here, because if we get this lower high, and then the market drops, guess what? This whole thing is one big topping pattern, and then we're likely to then start a bear market in the markets. But it's not gonna just go, it's not gonna just drop straight down through there, um, and we're not gonna, we're not gonna see that there, make sense? And the same for the Nasdaq as well too. What do we see here on the Nasdaq? Well, the Nasdaq has actually has actually started this long-term trend line, and we're right at that trend line here, right at this support line. Now, no, yes, so no, yes. Um, there you go. There. <laughs> now, note, yes, the market has actually had a big, big, big decent pullback, and we actually came down to this low level through here, plus this long-term trend line through. We didn't break that level through there, not just yet on this daily chart over here. Let me move this over here. So this daily chart over here, as you can see, that we haven't actually, let me bring this over here. We haven't actually broken that low level yet. So the market is still holding strong, but we have got a big strong selling down. The one thing you wanna keep an eye out for to see whether we are at a top right now is what actually happens over the next few weeks to a month. If we hold here and we start to rally up and out, but the market fails, and then we start to get like a bit of a falter, and then we start to break these levels through here. That's that's when you can start to see probably a drop back down towards that four thousand five hundred level. Let's have a bit more of a bit more of a bigger picture. Uh, probably around that five thousand level, the whole this whole retracement is likely to happen. But but we want to see what sort of action happens 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 here first. The thing is that depending on the volatility of this move, if we get a very strong rally up and out like we're talking something like this, bam, 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 like really quickly, guess what? This was just a correction and we're likely to make new highs. If we get some sort of a weak rally, 
on this weekly chart, we'll get a bit of a weak rally here where the market sort of rallies up, rallies up and sort of holds. And then we start to sell down and then we start to break below these low levels through here, these low levels through here, starting to create a lower high and then breaking down. That's that's when you want to start to be really, really cautious of, of then the bear market likely to starting at that point. Then we'll have a shoulder, a head, a shoulder formation, typical long term, a typical long term pattern is what forms. This is exactly that that's the exact pattern that formed at 2008 before the bear market. Okay. But don't be scared of this market right now. Okay. Don't, don't be fearful. Don't be listening to this mainstream media out there that the market's going to fall down really quickly and we're going to see a crash of 80% overnight. Remember, a stock market crash happens over many months and even sometimes many years. It doesn't happen in one day or even just one week. If the market's going to have a big, a, a big pullback, say even a 20% pullback, guess what? That's going to happen over many weeks, a minimum of many weeks, not just in one day, okay? So don't let the fear mongering out there stop you from what's actually really going on in the markets. It's not going to happen there. Please remove the emotion. Look at what the market's telling you but what, and really read these charts to see what's really going on here because if we start to create a bit of a right shoulder here on the NASDAQ, same for the S&P 500. We create like a bit of a, maybe a bit of a right shoulder, maybe a bit of a lower high and then break that low. If we do see that in the markets, then it's all over. We are at the top and we're likely to see a lot more hard selling coming into possibly even next year. So the question is right now, this is Rocktober right now. We're holding here. What does November and December bring? Maybe next year is the year that we actually really start to see this thing fall over. But that's the sort of action that you're probably likely to start seeing even on the Dow Jones right now. Do we rally up and hold and we start to break? Now the Dow Jones has to start to break this uh, this significant low level through here, which is around that around this uh, 2,300, that level there for it to start. But if the Dow Jones breaks this low level through here, then guess what? Then it's probably going to see a nice sharp drop, not in one day, possibly over a few month period, back down towards that $18,000 level. So don't be fearful of this market. Are we are out of the top in the market right now? And if so, if we are at the top of the market right now, then uh, then what you, you know, then this is the sort of patterns that, that are likely to form in the market. Don't be fearful of this. We're likely to see probably possibly even a bit of a rally out of this here. We're not going to go straight down, straight down, straight down. It's going to start to create some highs and lows and the market's going to tell us what's going on in the markets. Okay. So please don't be fearful of this market. Please don't be, you know, listen to all this news, news media that, you know, that the sky is falling and so on and so forth. Please look at the market. Please follow along with the market because... This is a sort of this is sort this is the sort of thing that that the market does. If everything's going straight up, it gets everyone bullish. If everything's going straight down, it gets everyone short, or or it doesn't doesn't get people buying. And when that happens, it creates creates this imbalance of of what you should be really really doing. You know what I mean? So listen to the market. Don't be fearful of the market. And at the end of the day, trade what you trade what you see, not what you think, hope or fear. Before you go, make sure you grab the free Grab the Markets by the Balls training course. In this training course, you're going to learn the top 13 deadly mistakes, the success formula, charting boundaries, the PT method, the ultimate trading system, the blast off trading system, number one in trading indicator, the million dollar trade and money management, how successful traders approach the market, and so much more. Get this trading course for free right now. Click on the very first link in the description to get this whole complete trading course to give you the edge on your side of trading this market. Do that right now, and I'll see you on the other side.